Hey there, YouTube. Welcome to Drakery Gaming. Today, we're going to be talking about CPU removal and installation. It doesn't matter if you have PGA or LGA. What is that, Draco? Well, let me explain it to you. As usual, no BS, no fluff. Here we go. All right, I've got another video I'm going to voice over and show you exactly what I'm talking about that I previously recorded here. We have an uh, it's an older motherboard, but it's all general this generally the same. Um, so what we have here is what we're looking at is the uh, socket of the motherboard where the CPU uh, is its home. And um, this is with the CPU chip installed with no heat sink on top. You can see I've actually removed the cooler. These are just the studs here. And uh, what we're going to be doing now is going to be lifting this release arm here. You want to make sure it's all clean. There's no paste. Um, you can use Q-tips, things like that. Make sure it's nice and clean. Um, any electronic type of alcohol wipes, things like that it should be safe to remove. Uh, any uh, thermal paste that may have been on the CPU after you remove the cooler, which is that gray silver gunk that creates a uh, thermal uh, c connection between the heat sink and the CPU to transfer heat. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and remove the CPU. You can notice here this little triangle. We'll talk about that in a minute. But make sure the arm is all the way up. And, and it, you can see that this area slides back. Make sure it's upright and the chip is free. Pull the chip out. What you want to do is inspect the uh, pins. This is a PGA CPU, so it's pin grid array. AMD still uses the pin grid array. Uh, Intel uses a line grid array, which is just gold contacts, not actual gold pins uh, sticking out. Looks like a bunch of little needles. So as CPU looks great, no bend pins, everything looks okay. You also want to check this if you're installing, removing, reinstalling, anything like that. We're going to make sure there's no gunk or goo inside of here. We're going to make sure all the edges are clean. And here I'm notating the corner. So this is the alignment corner. Uh, this is the corner you want to match up with the corner on the socket on the board itself. Um, so what I'm trying to pinpoint here, and sometimes it's hard to see, but there is a little tiny triangle here. The other ones do not. All corners do not have that little triangle, just that one corner. Depending on the manufacturer, it's very clear or sometimes a little vague. Uh, so I'm going to match that corner up with the corner in there. And I'm not going to push down. I'm going to gently just drop it in. I'm going to drop it in until it goes in. I'm, I'm just kind of give it a little wiggle just to make sure it was good and tight. And then I'm going to snap that arm down and make sure it snaps under this lock here. And then we're good to go. Make sure they line up. Make sure you have your points matched up in the corners. Take your time. Make sure everything's clean. After this, you're going to be applying some thermal paste and heat sink cooler, which I will make a video on here shortly. I'm Drake Array here to help the gaming community, and I'll see you next time.